Hi guys, how are you doing and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how I upgrade my Pi Hole version 5 running on this Raspberry Pi 3 to version 6. Version 6 has been out for a few days now and that means that there are some patches there as well which uh, mitigate the problems uh, every first version of software has. I did some testing in the beginning of the week a few days ago when version 6 was just released, the, so the .0 version so to speak, and there were some instability issues with CPUs and the FTL database hogging the CPU and then basically the whole system would come to a halt. And that's not the case anymore. Like I said, there have been some patches and updates for version 6 and I believe it is now stable enough uh, so you can upgrade your version 5 or just install it clean, right? So let's get into it and let me show you how I do the upgrade on this Raspberry Pi, what are the steps I take and how I make sure that I have a fallback scenario, I have a backup basically. Let's get into it. And here we are at the dashboard of the Raspberry Pi with version 5 running. It is telling me immediately that there is an update available. I have the command there which I can use to execute the update. And before I do that, I will make sure that I have a backup. So go to settings, go to teleporter and then click on the backup option and it will generate a file containing all the important stuff. And now I have a backup of my version 5. Of course, this is running on an SD card, right? This is running on an SD card on a Raspberry Pi Model 3, the B version. And you could create an image of the SD card before you, st you start the upgrade. And um, make sure, making sure that when something goes wrong, you can just re-image uh, your SD card with that backup you created, that image backup you created, and you will be up and running with version 5 again. So if it's something you want to do, uh, this is the time to do it. Stop the Raspberry Pi, shut it down, create a image with version 5 of Pi Hole still in there, and then start it up. And then uh, let's continue with the steps to upgrade Pi Hole 5 to version 6. So before we do that, I can see that there are some updates available for Diet Pi. I am running Diet Pi on, on this Raspberry Pi 3 model. It has been running perfectly fine. So the first thing I will do is I will update the system itself. That's always a good thing to do. Making sure that the system you're running PyHole on is up to date, all the packages are up to date, and then continue upgrading PyHole. So let's execute the diet Pi update. It will update it from version 9.9.0 .9 to 9.10.0. Let's wait it out. Yes, I want to update. Yes, I will continue. Let's go and continue with the kernel firmware migration option. Yes, we'll do that. Let's install additional kernel packages. Now that the Diet Pi update is nearly finished, it needs to do a reboot. I also always recommend before upgrading Pi Hole on your system, make sure it's up to date the system itself the operating system then make a do a reboot make sure that everything is clean in there uh, boot it up and then continue with the uh, upgrade of uh, pi hole itself so what i'm going to do now is reboot the raspberry pi let's go and do that and wait for it to come back and it should be back by now so we are going to restart this session yes there we are and I will just log in with root. And there we are. We have upgraded the operating system now to version 9.10.0. So from that perspective, that is running perfectly fine. Let's see if my Pi hole is up and running. Yes, it is. I can see that it is. it has just booted up. And we still have that um, notification down at the website at the bottom of the admin page that we can do the upgrade. And that's exactly what we're going to do now. So at the command prompt, at the SSH interface, we're going to type in pyhole and dash up. Let's go. It, of course, comes up with the information that there is an update available. We already knew that. So... Let's continue and wait for it to go through the steps. Mm, 
now at this step basically the upgrade is finished already uh, the thing it's doing now it's pulling down uh, new versions of the ad list i'm using in the pie hole just updating them refreshing them and updating that ftl database so we'll have to wait for that process to finish and there we are so it has upgraded everything for all the components of Pi-hole, and it has also created a new web interface password because in version 5 there was slight uh, httpd running for the web interface for the web gui basically and now it is a integrated component within uh, the Pi-hole package itself so there is a new web service running here and there is a new password for that so that's what we need to use in order to um, get access to the web admin let's go to the admin interface this is using https now it has a self-signed certificate i already accepted that here um, the unsecured version of the web gui is still running it's running on port 8080 i believe you can do all the settings within the configuration um, in the new version in version 6 so i will copy over the password which is presented here because this is the new password now and i will log into the dashboard and see if my configuration is up and running yes this is running the latest version of version 6 at the moment and if i go to my ad list i can see that my ad lists are there now just for good measure i would um, i would say run through the settings of your pie hole because i've seen cases where not all the settings are being migrated after an upgrade in some cases it did migrate everything in some cases it did miss some cname records or some specific dns uh, servers you had in there so make sure that you go through the settings page page and walk through all the options in here and that all your options are still in there right so that's something i would strongly suggest that you do making sure that everything is up and running perfectly fine and this is the way I did the upgrade of version 5 to version 6 for my production pie hole. Now, I did some testing in a virtual machine, saw some issues in uh, some issues related to CPU usage there. And the community, the developers, they did address this very quickly. And now it is running, it's up and running perfectly fine. So that's for me um, the pointer, the, uh, the signal to do it in my production as well. The good thing is to have backups. So if you're using a Raspberry Pi, make sure that you do a reboot cycle because if there are troubles or problems with the SD card in there, they will appear after a reboot. And then you know that there is something wrong before you start even start upgrading. Of course, as always, make sure that you have backups of configurations. You have a backup, a image of that SD card. Uh, if you're running it off of an SD card, uh, that way, in that way, you will make sure that you have a fallback plan because you don't want to break the internet while upgrading Pi-hole from version 5 to version 6. And as always, thank you for watching. I hope that you've uh, learned something new in this video and given you confidence how to upgrade version 5 of Pi-hole to version 6. If you have comments, leave it in the comment section below. Of course, don't forget to click on the like and subscribe buttons below this video. That helps out my channel a lot and helps me keep making these kinds of videos for you guys. So for now, take care and I will see you in the next video. Bye.